my dear friends an anglican bishop of south africa bishop desmond tutu once said my humanity is bound up in yours for we can only be human together if my humanity doesn't connect with yours we become inhuman that's the reason for all the wars clashes and fights and ruptures of all relationships in this world dear friends when jesus said today in the gospel very very wisely that anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood have life he meant becoming one as humanity our intelligent master deliberately picked chose these words flesh and blood so very material things so not spiritual flesh and blood it's a deliberate pick when jesus want to tell his followers about his philosophy how it should go beyond beyond his existence uh, as a human being he wanted this to remain as a physical thing this flesh and blood are the nouns the verb is equally physical and materialistic eat eat my flesh this is something that everyone would all of us would do we eat and we know what happens when we eat our human body or any other animal's body has so much of intelligence to absorb energy through our food the moment we eat piece of bread it doesn't remain as bread inside us it becomes our energy so jesus wants us to eat him so that he becomes our energy and he gives it as flesh and blood not just something kind of psychological or spiritual jargon material realistic pragmatic just be live on earth as long as you are on this in this world walk on this earth you are physical therefore your relationship has to be a physical one this is important we relate when we relate to one another i should see that humanity in me and in others therefore jesus brings all of us together this is what we need to understand dear friends so let's take for a for a while we'll, let's think why do we work why do you go out to work to earn some money right to buy your bread to buy some clothes for us to have some housing for us and for us for our sustenance our existence we need money therefore we go to work that's the answer right why couldn't god the father such a loving father couldn't give us our bread our clothing and our housing why did he want us to work for this money is important yes god wanted us to work yet we are compelled to get out of our houses and go to the world and work means what god wants is not just earning money that's something we humans have created is important that's how the things are happening in this world just do it if you can earn more earn it and save it invest it that's us not the problem the purpose of going out to the world to work is to share to give and to live with one another otherwise you would have lived in our own houses without any interaction with the society the world god wants us to go out and meet and help and interact and identify our humanity with one another 
Unfortunately, that's not what's happening in the world today at our workplaces. Rather, there are more divisions and clashes, backbitings, and uh, so many other evil things are happening for the sake of money, probably, or power. But God's will is not that. This interaction and living with one another is the important thing. When Jesus says, if you do not eat, unless you eat the flesh of Son of Man and drink His blood, you do not have life within you. Not eternal life. Life within you. He's talking to people who are alive now, who are breathing, who are walking around. But Jesus sees them as dead. You are dead. Come to me and eat my flesh to have life. What is this? Because we live Sometimes our lives also, dear friends, in anticipation of death, fear of death, fear of future, or in imagination of some disasters in our lives, or else in the past, what had happened to us, not in the present moment. Therefore, we are scared, we are frightened, we live with the fear factor, and we need to earn more money to safeguard our future, thinking that money can save us. Jesus says, no, you are dead. You are, you are a walking dead person. Come to me and have life first, before eternal life. Live here, physical life. Live your life with one another, understanding one humanity. This is why we call Holy Communion when we receive Jesus is one communion. We receive Jesus, we eat Jesus and become one with him and one another. Therefore, my dear friends, if we can understand my own humanity, which is bound in yours, so that we can be human together. This understanding solves most of the problems in our families, in our relationships, and in the world. Jesus invites us to be one with him first, to eat him, physically be with him, and to see that everyone else is just like me and we are one, one humanity. Therefore, we have life. Once we live at this moment and have life, then automatically, naturally, we inherit the life eternal. Why? Just as what we eat becomes ourselves and we become like the people whom we associate. We become like the place that we live. When we eat Jesus, we become like Jesus. When we interact with him, we eat him, we draw energy from him, and we become like him and we become divine as well. Let's bow our heads to our intelligent master and say thank you for this wonderful sacrament and receive him and be one with one another and with the Lord. Amen. Father, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.